What's up, motherfuckers? It's Based Zeus here, ready to teach you how to never run out of things to say and turn you into a conversational god like me. But in reality, the number one way to never run out of things to say is to be so fucking badass and interesting that people ask you all the questions and compliment you so that they drive the conversation and you just need to sit back and relax and enjoy the godly praise they give you. You see, I'm a god, and people compliment me all the time. But I get even more compliments and conversation started whenever I wear my Vincero watch. You see, Vincero is a longtime sponsor of Based Zeus, and for good reason. These watches get me tons of compliments and tons of pussy. They give you that sophisticated luxury vibe without breaking the bank, because these watches are super affordable. Their watches have a ton of detail to make them look a lot more classy and get you more attention. The watches I recommend are the Silver and White Bellwether, their matte black chrono, and their best-selling silver chrono. You gotta check out Vincero. I'll have them linked below along with a bunch of other of my hand-picked favorites. Now let's do it! Number 1. Frame your conversations correctly from the start. Basically, you want to know what you want out of the conversation. So if the conversation is happening through text, then when you send that first text, you better know what you want for an outcome from the very start. Whether it's to flirt with her a bit more and keep the momentum and interest going, or if it's to get her to hang out with you. If it's in person and you're approaching a girl for the first time with the intention of getting her number, then know the logical steps it takes to get there. And when you get stuck or don't know what to say, just think about what the logical next step is going to be to get her number and do that. If you're going up to her at school or work to propose to hang out, then do the same thing. Know what you need to. 1. Start the conversation in a fun way. 2. Flirt with her and give off a cool, fun vibe so she'll be more willing to hang out with you. And 3. Bring up the proposed date in a cool, natural way. Seriously, that's it. Just figure out what the end goal is and follow the next logical step. That is literally it. No need to overcomplicate this shit. Figure out what you want from the interaction and act accordingly. Simple as that. Warning! Going into a conversation with a plan is very different than going into a conversation with an agenda. When people go into conversations with agendas, they come off as manipulative, weird, and like a sociopath. Having a general plan of, okay, I'm going to go in and have a fun conversation with her and then ask her to hang out before I leave is much better, and it won't make you seem like you're going in with some sort of ulterior motive, you know? Like those nerds who go in thinking, eh, I'm gonna go in with an opening line number 47, position my body at a 45 degree angle, and then I'm gonna put my arm around her exactly two and a half minutes into the conversation, and propose to hang out using the exact phrase after she responds to sentence number 17. I mean, fuck. I just want to strangle the shit out of those people. You definitely don't want to go into a conversation like one of those nerds with an agenda. It'll make you look like a fucking weirdo who's forcing shit. And it overcomplicates everything for you anyway. Just go in like a laid-back, cool dude and know a general idea of what you want to accomplish, and you'll be good to go. Number 2. Talk about yourself more This might sound douchey, but we're often taught to ask about the other person and get them to talk more. But this is totally backwards. Think of it like this. If you're a hot girl, do you want a guy to come up to you and start a conversation wherein you have to do 99% of the talking and all the work that goes with it? Fuck no! That's like going up to a girl and basically saying, hey, what's up? Now you do all the talking while I ask you a million questions and put pressure on you to respond to everything I'm asking. Nice to meet you. Nobody wants that. This is why it's actually better to do most of the talking and talk about yourself, so that people have less pressure on them to drive the conversation and they'll only speak and chime in when they feel comfortable and confident in what they're saying. This is actually a good way to develop trust and ease the person into better conversations, because the more time they spend with you, the more they like you, and the more comfortable they feel about talking about themselves and opening up to you. Number 3. Use the phrase, That's sort of like how, followed by anything. Let's try it. That's sort of like how I like to barbecue. That's sort of like how I like to do things on a date. That's sort of like how I plan to retire early, followed by anything. No joke, in conversation, after someone says something, you can just say, yeah, that's sort of like how blah blah blah, and just go into any other conversational topic and nobody will even think twice. It's a great transitional phrase to lead into another topic you feel comfortable talking about. And shifting the conversation into something you like to talk about will make it way easier to continue talking about it without issues or nervousness. Number 4. Ask the W's who, what, why, where, when, etc. Basically, ask anything that gets into the underlying crux of what somebody is saying. 
If somebody is talking about their job or the sport they play, you can say, hey, what made you want to do that? Or what do you like about that? These are also really good ways of getting people to open up and getting to know them better. And that's it. Let me summarize. Frame your conversations from the start. Talk about yourself more. Use the phrase, that's sort of like how, followed by anything. And ask the W's. Hey, don't forget to also get yourself a Vincero watch to maximize the amount of girls you get while you're practicing these godly techniques. It'll get them to compliment you and start a conversation first. So, click the link below to check them out to get yourself a girl-attracting watch from Vincero. Hold on, what time is it? Ooh, nice watch. Zeus out! <laughs> <laughs>